Right then guys, um, today, oh, there goes the drawer, um, today um, I'm going to do a video on my old x-ray transformer. Um, now, I have to apologise, I've got a high voltage channel and for a long time I haven't actually done anything high voltage. I am really, really eager to finish my x-ray transformer. Um, I just can't do it at the moment. Um haven't been feeling very well. I think that's uh, the effect from my painkillers. And obviously, with the, the pain I've been getting just recently, as you've seen all my videos, have all just been stuff like work. Um, so unfortunately, high voltage has sort of been out of the out of the options for me. It's just been little things. Um, so. I do apologise about that. I would love to start doing some high voltage videos again. Um, but unfortunately I actually need to be able to get out of bed a bit more frequently. Um, get my pain a bit more under control and whatnot. So uh, what I thought I would do um, is strip this down. Now you'll probably all recognise this as my old x-ray transformer. I have, that's not a very good view there, I have taken the secondary off of it and um, I was asked a long time ago um, by a, a Mr. Ply Tiger um, how, well actually he just asked whether I could do a close up um, video of this transformer and I thought well it doesn't work anymore, you know, let's take it apart and show and share how it's made, how, you know, how it goes. Um, I'm going to put the camera down here and I'm going to lay it down because I can't actually take the weight. It's not that big. Um, it's only sort of the size of my hand, but it's heavy enough to be too heavy for me to be lifting. So going to lie it down. Um, basically you've got an outer shell which comes apart, the two allen screws there and that literally just quite far too zoomed in, you can't see a thing what I'm doing, far too close. Um, just holds the transformer together, you'll see why in a minute. Um, now bear in mind I have completely took the secondary off, that took me quite some time um, and basically all that is left now is the primary and the core comes apart in four, four pieces, one there, one there, one at the top which you can't see and Another one over this side. So the core to the transformer is that. Those four pieces, they are slightly different in size, the top and bottom. I'm not too sure why, but when you put them on top of each other and line them up, they're a little bit shorter, you can probably see there. Um, and uh, yeah, there's not really too much else to say. Um, they go around the outside. No, sorry, they go around the inside when it's all put together. Now, the interesting thing is, is I haven't actually melted my primary. It was just the secondary I melted. Um, now there's obviously going to have been bloody millions of windings on this. I've actually got a piece of the secondary here. Can you see that? Uh, you can probably more see the... There you go. Can you make that out there? It is very, very thin. I mean, I would have said it's not much thicker than a hair. 
Um, I, and I haven't actually got a battery in uh, my digital micrometer to to measure it. Um, I will do it at some point. Um, but I was considering about rewinding it because this primary is actually good. Um, still all all fine. There's four layers of. It's actually about the actual primary winding is actually very quite like really quite thick um, wire. It's about uh, I don't know if you can be able to see like you can see the lines down here. Each one of those is actually about two mil by one mil. Um, you can see down there how sort of thick it is. It's probably a bit thicker than one mil actually. Um, and there's approximately 230 turns on that. Um, I did seriously consider about having it rewound. Um, maybe at some point I've got a, a little machine that I could probably rewind that on. Um, obviously I need some good insulation, um, but I've got the, the proper tape for that somewhere. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you because not many people obviously get to see how these transformers go together and come apart. Um, so yeah, that was a 150 kV, um, about between well between five and ten um, milliamps. So I mean, it would be quite nice if I could get that rewound to sort of something like 10 kV at like half an amp. But I don't actually have a clue about core saturation um, maths for me with my um, with my medication. Unfortunately, it is not not very simple. I mean, yeah, I can use a calculator and stuff online, um, but I don't know. It's too a bit too much at the moment. Um, the only other thing I've got to share is down there. I don't know if you can see that there. That is actually a control unit for an X-ray machine. Um, it is an MX2 portable X-ray unit. And if I can get down there, oh man, it has the uh, timer handle. So you've got 0 0.1 of a second, 0 0.2 of a second, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, then you've got 1 second, 1.5, and then you've got the exposure, so you just set that to the amount of time and push the button. Um, now it powers up. Um, I haven't actually got all the, all the cables for it. I've got the input cable. It's got another output cable to it. When you push that button, if you bridge two of the connectors, bridge two of the connections, sorry, on one of the connector outputs, the light comes on and it stays on and it outputs, um, depending on where this control is here, it outputs a different amount of volts um, for the amount of time you're holding the button. Um, but yeah, I don't, don't really know what to do with that. I think I'm probably going to sell it. Um, um, I'm quite short for cash at the moment. I've got supposed to be going on holiday, but I don't know whether I'm actually going to be able to make it. Um, I hope so. I mean, I'm going going to the forest, <laughs> which would be quite nice. So yeah, I need to make some money to be able to go on holiday and have a nice time, hopefully. So if anyone's interested, um, inbox me and uh, yeah, we'll try and sort something out. So yeah, apart from that, I haven't been doing anything. Um, yeah, I think that's about it guys, so I shall uh, leave it there and uh, speak to you again soon, thanks for watching.